This will be for the con exercise, zeros of polynomials, factored form. So they want us to find the zeros of this polynomial. And basically the zeros of the polynomial are where the polynomial uh, is set to y equals zero. All right, that's why they're called the zeros. So this p of x here can basically be thought of as y. Okay, so we're setting y equal to zero. We're basically setting this whole thing equal to zero. All right, and we know that any number multiplied by zero equals zero. So if I set this whole thing equal to zero, this would work if uh, this part equals zero, or if this part equals zero, or if this part equals zero, or if this part equals zero. So I can set each one of these individually equal to zero and solve this equation. And then at the end, they want us to plot the zeros or the x-intercepts on the graph, but that'll be uh, later. Now, some of these you can do in your head, but I'll do each one uh, individually. Okay, I'll call this part, um, I'll label this part number one, and this part in parentheses number two, and this part in parentheses number three, and this part in parentheses number four. Okay, so I'm gonna set each one equal to zero because if this was zero, anything multiplied by zero would equal zero and so on. All right, so for number one, and again, I know some of you can do this in your head, I'm gonna set x plus two equal to zero. All right, subtracting two from both sides. The twos cancel, bring down the x, and zero minus two is negative two. All right, it's that simple. For part two, two x plus seven equals zero. Okay, subtracting seven from both sides. The sevens cancel, bring down the two X. Zero minus seven is negative seven. Okay, and dividing both sides by two, we see that X is negative seven halves, but we're gonna be plotting this on the graph, so it might be easier if you use the decimal. If you do negative seven divided by two, that's going to be negative 3.5 or three and a half. All right, so we have two zeros now. For part three, x minus one equals zero. Okay, adding one to both sides. One minus one cancels, bring down your x, and zero plus one equals one. Okay, finally, part four. X minus three equals zero. And if I add three to both sides, three minus three cancels and X equals zero plus three, which is just three. Okay, so these four numbers are my zeros, negative two, positive three, negative 3.5, and positive one, okay? So we're gonna plot those on the graph real quick, just plot the points. So real quick, here is the x-axis, okay? The line that's on the x-axis is basically y equals zero, all right? That line on the x-axis is y equals zero. So that's why the zeros go on the x-axis. Remember, we set the equation y equal to zero. All right, anyhow, it just says click to add points. Let me rewrite the zeros again. 
Okay, these were the values we got before. So I'll start with negative 3.5 on the x-axis. Okay, go to your x-axis. Here's negative three. Here's negative 3.5. Just click on it and it makes a dot. Next up is negative two right there. Next up is positive one right there. And next up is positive three. So that's it. Just plot the four points or however many zeros you have on the x-axis and that's it. All right, it looks like these are all the same. I'll do one more. Okay, again, they want us to find the zeros of the polynomial. So this is basically y equals, okay, and I'm gonna set this whole thing equal to zero. Now, if this whole thing equals zero, any one of these binomials in parentheses can equal zero. Okay, if this were zero, then these can be anything and times zero would give us zero. So I'll label this number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, there's not always gonna be four zeros, not necessarily. So number one, two X minus one equals zero. Okay, adding one to both sides. The ones cancel, bring down your two X and zero plus one equals one. Dividing both sides by two, X equals one half. If you like, you can make it a decimal and say 0 0.5, same thing, because again, we're gonna be plotting these on the graph. All right, for part two, X plus three equals zero. Uh, subtracting three from both sides, the threes cancel, and zero minus three is negative three. Some of these you can do in your head. I'm just writing them out to show you. Okay, if x plus one equals zero, subtracting one from both sides, one minus one is gone and X equals zero minus one, which is negative one. And finally, part four, X minus two equals zero. Adding two to both sides. The twos cancel and X equals zero plus two. Zero plus two is just two. All right, do you have to do all this? No, you can do some of these in your head. I know if I plug in negative three right here, I'll get negative three plus three equals zero. Positive two right here, two minus two equals zero. All right, so you don't have to write it out every time. So you just scroll down to the graph, you find your X axis, it's the horizontal axis and plot the points. We have negative three, X equals negative one, X equals 0 0.5 or one half. Okay, this is zero, this is one, this is one half right there in between. And finally, positive two. Okay, so we got our four points. They are, they are all on the X axis. And just real quick, if you have something like this, you set this 3x equal to zero. Okay, 3x equals zero. And of course, when you divide both sides by three, and the threes cancel, zero divided by three is still zero. So in that case, x would still be zero. 